All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So I got the OnePlus Nord here. I've had this easily for two weeks. Uh, and on and off, ultimately how I used this was, I did test the networks. The network works locally. Uh, you get 4G LTE or 5G, sometimes it would show. Uh, but more importantly, I tested out the cameras and things like that and the performance of the device. And the performance is all that I thought it was going to be. You know, having the amount of RAM it has uh, and then the storage and everything, the, the, the phone itself, as far as performance goes, it is going to impress, okay? 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage with Snapdragon 765G, it's more than enough. The 12 gigs of RAM is really what helps this phone fly. Uh, and I think people who buy this are going to be impressed regardless of what you think about the 765G processor. So, again, in my testing and using this, I did lots of social media and some photos on the fly. And I'll show you those photos in this video, obviously. But I think the cameras was a highlight that I was really hoping would be better. And I honestly got to say that the cameras aren't horrible. They're actually really good in my experience with this. I think the photos come out great. Um, I don't have a problem with the way they look. I'm not going to be a stickler about dynamic range and all this other stuff. I just think the photos look good. The front cameras... They look pretty good too, but I mean, you know, the, the rear cameras really shine. If I like taking pictures of the sky and trees and things like that. And I think that's where this camera really, really shine. These cameras really shine. They do good when going directly into the clouds and things like that. So these rear cameras, fantastic. The front camera, definitely good too. Uh, with the affordable price tag, I mean, look at the price on this device. Hit that link in the description. You'll see the current pricing of this. This is a, a phone that... It's kind of not, a, it's almost that middle ground borderline. It's a flagship, you know, because just because it doesn't have the 865 and has a 765, people don't want to call it a flagship. But this is more along the lines of one of those flagship killers, if you will, because it's got a low price. It offers a ton of RAM and a good memory option. 256 gigs of storage with 12 gigs of RAM. Fluid AMOLED 90 hertz display. HDR10 plus. I mean, what more do you want? You know, it's, it's, it's a powerhouse feature pack device uh, and it's um, you know it's a good phone there's really not much I can say about this device uh, but having the big battery in here battery life lasts me pretty pretty good uh, it's not like extraordinary battery life like 15 hours of screen on time but 8 to 10 hours of screen on time is actually really solid uh, on a phone like this and I think it's definitely because of the processor inside and how this is put together it's really helping this device standby on 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 battery and then also it's stock android as you can see this is a stock android setup uh and i, I think this is where oneplus has always shined on the competition by running stock android basically and you can customize it uh to what you want you know you go into the customization tab and you can change pretty much anything you can change it to how you want it's just it's a good look change the tone boom that's it you can change the icons the buttons you can do ultimately whatever you want to do i love it did it crash right there on me colorful th oh colorful thing can only use oh gosh you gotta change it to the, the black in order to do that uh but you can change these icons you can do pretty much what you want to do you got the clock styles it's a phone that you can customize uh with ease and that is the best part about it i think that if people decide to pick up this device, which I definitely recommend at this point, you are getting a better set of cameras than before, uh, and then you're getting an even better price. Now, the reason I started the video talking about the network is because some people felt like this wouldn't work in the U.S. or it's just not a good fit for the U.S., but it in fact is. I haven't had any issues with the network on this device in the U.S. And the link, you're going to see it's like an international version, but it definitely works in the U.S. with no problems. So with that being said, the OnePlus Nord, this one that I have right here, uh, was released in August of 2020, and we're in November of 2020. So it's a good look. I'm just not getting it like two or three weeks ago, but it's a good look. I, I, I think it's a nice phone. It comes in a couple colors. This color right here kind of grew on me. I, I wasn't a fan of it at first, but this color has grown on me, uh, and I think it's a hit. So hit the link in the description. Grab yours at wirelessplace.com. Legitimate place. I'm not just promoting them just because. I think they really uh, are legit with their shipping. Uh, and the overall experience with the device is good. And, and just with this company, is going to be okay for you. You'll see. Uh, but there it is, Jamanjay. The follow-up on the OnePlus Nord. I had a second to record bars. 
Uh, so I want to go ahead and do it for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hit the link in the description to get yours. I'm out.